Just woke up for Fajr. It is 8, 5, it's 5 o'clock for Fajr. I was like, that sleep was not too bad. Uh, me and Abdullah basically got knocked out. The second we put our heads down, we knocked out, and we woke up to the van for Fajr. We're probably going to be going outside since a whole bunch of people are starting to go outside for Fajr. Everyone is starting to wake up. And then, if you guys can see this, uh, we're all walking to the big masjid to pray Fajr. It honestly feels like how the um, Arab countries are, where you just wake up and walk to the masjid for uh, Fajr prayer. As we step around, can you give us a right? Or is it forgiveness? I, I, think, I think it'll give you good deeds. I'm not sure if that's just for Friday, but I'm pretty sure it's for going to the masjid. So, just getting our daily uh, uh, cardio in. Yeah. So, I actually see inside. Then once we reached the inside of the masjid, we heard the adhan, which is the call to prayer, and then prayed Fajr, which is morning prayer. Then after prayer, the Imam of the Masjid then gave us a halakha on becoming Muslim for the right reason, which you can find on our other channel, Muslim Saida. Then after that short lecture, we walked back to the old Masjid and went to sleep until around 8, which is breakfast time. Just woke up um, for breakfast, which is at 8 o'clock. Uh, and everyone's still sleeping. Just woke up for breakfast, which is at 8 o'clock. <laughs> I'm eating breakfast with these guys. <laughs> yeah, it's recording this time. Uh, we're gonna go to this place, which is basically where we've been doing everything. Let's see you at breakfast. We also found some ducks on our way to breakfast. What is this? So what do you guys think about the sleep? I didn't bring a pillow, I just used my duffel bag. My <laughs> duffel bag. It was better. Your neck hurts? Yeah. I'm around after bed. With I, hands off. Every time I woke up, I woke up super refreshed. So maybe it's just like, it's gin free area. Oh, of course, it's my shit. <laughs> um, feel free, so there's the muffins, there's the sweet section, the yeah. cereal section. And your bake, uh, not bake, uh, croissants and... Breakfast I got. Hey. <laughs> you just finished your undergrad? Mm -hmm. And so you do the jump suit. Yeah. We were actually the first ones getting our breakfast, but after about 20 minutes, people started showing up, and then the people that organized this event started giving out shirts. Then while I went to the Masala to relax, Abdullah and Zuhair Khan went out and just explored the scenery of the masjid. Once the other people eventually started to wake up, take their showers, and eat their late breakfasts, we all eventually went to the Masalla and had a lecture by Imam Suleiman about atheism, which you can listen to the whole lecture on Muslim Saida. I'm going to talk about later today with the, the topic I was given about a man whose heart is attached to the masjid. That you guys weren't going, uh, like even to a hotel, you guys weren't coming straight to the masjid. So can you imagine like every second you guys were on the road, as difficult as it may be, that your sins were being forgiven, your rank was being uh, elevated in Jannah, angels are making dua for you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept them all. Amen. Amen.
After the lecture was over, we all took a group picture with the sheikh. Some of the guys went to the lecture hall in preparation for the long day of lecturing that we're gonna get, while a few of us went back to the now old masjid to go and put on our new shirts to represent the Texas Muslim bros. And now we're all going to go eat. And this is how it looks like New Jersey from the, uh, in the day, like, see a whole bunch of trees and stuff. It's gonna probably rain soon. And now we're getting lunch. Then after taking a few group pictures, we all went and got lunch. The lunch was actually pretty good. It was just a regular turkey sandwich for me. And for other people, they got biryani, which I'm not a fan of. And then the real lecture session started. And then the real lecture session started. And this will take place all day, all the way until like 9 and 9. Before we invite our dear respected Sheikh Khalifa, inshallah, as well, let me just say that I'm going to do this. Yeah. Yeah, um, but you have one for me? Yeah, we'll, we'll get the you one. Texas Muslim Pro is yeah. uh, yeah. After that amazing introduction by Imam Muhammad, Sheikh Walid then started the introduction to the long lecture session. He introduced to us the hadith of the seven people Allah will give them his shade on the day where there will be no shade. <laughs> in a very unique way in the way he created the world. But also number seven is a, very, a number that's repeated so many times in things in the religion. That's very interesting. He created the level of the sky seven, seven for samawat, the layers of earth seven, the days are seven, seven to ayyam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created human beings in seven stages. And in sabi sabati aqwar. Also, if you notice, it's very interesting that, uh, uh, for instance, uh, Al-Mahdi will remain for seven years. And look at some of the rules in Sharia. You know, in Eid, Sabr Takbirat, Raka'a Salat Al-Ud, Raka'a Al-Ud. In Sabr Tawaf, you make Tawaf seven times. You make Sa'id seven times in Safa wa Marwa. You know, it's interesting, Al-Aqiqah is in the seventh day after the born of the child. You know, the boy after reaching seven years old, he starts praying. You know, also, um, you see, for instance, a Jamarat, seven. He threw the Jamarat seven times. I'm taking a little break from that convention thing. It was a lot of information. And I started getting tired, so now... I'm gonna walk around this amazing landscape. Hopefully I don't get lost. The view is amazing. Hey guys, you just found a path. This is the woods. It just rained, so it's kind of hard to walk, but this definitely is some kind of camping site. I think those are chickens, actually. I think this is a farm. I don't think I can go in. Yeah, I don't think I could go in. Instead, it looks like I'm just gonna be going around the lake. Which looks beautiful, mashallah. I think a beaver lives here actually. That's the only explanation. That's cool. Mashallah. Whoa. My shoes are getting all dirty now. And my pants too. 
I have to stay on the on the higher uh, the higher land because down there is all soaked. Can't even step foot in the uh, quicksand like forest. I think that's a bonfire that we're gonna be doing later today. Tonight. I think that's the bonfire. That's all the chairs that we're gonna have. And what's up here? Okay, I think that's where the land stops. We can't go past. But well, now I'm gonna be making my way back to the old masjid, which is where we sleep. Although I have the cool wind camp set, is sitting in, which is great. I think over here it's like 75 degrees in Houston. It's still 100, so it's a nice change. And now we made it to the, we basically made it to the masjid over here. But, oh, and there's a whole bunch of ducks over there. But we made it to the long awaited bridge. It's an awesome view of the lake. I'm not gonna lie, I did take quite a few selfies at the lake, but it was beautiful. Then I walked back to the old masjid to relax and just cool off. But while I was strolling around the masjid, Sheikh Suleiman, Sheikh Anwar, Imam Muhammad, and Sheikh Walid were continuing their dialogue and they actually had like a little gathering together where they spoke on one platform. By the time I reached the old masjid, the guys were already praying Jama Qasr, and apparently they were praying Jama Qasr at the new masjid as well with the new shiuch. And after prayer, while the guys at the new masjid were talking to the shiuchs and just having fun, we were actually having tons of mini events, like a wrestling session. And Yusuf was teaching us the basics of wrestling. And then from here, look at your hands. So what you're gonna do, you see how, look, you're gonna pop your foot first, and see how your foot's stepping? Oh, dang, yeah. And that's when I shoot. So look, you can still hit it from here, but look, switch back, switch back, yeah. So the reason you go here, and whenever you're here, you're gonna try to like stop the other. Whenever you go here, look, I'm changing here so that I don't really shoot for your leg, I'm bringing it to me. And then I'm turning my head up, and then you push it back. No, it's not back. Oh, push it forward. Look, I'm gonna push you back. Little Bro, shut up. Run your bounce. <laughs> Try your best, though. Okay, okay. Ready? Yeah. I'm gonna push you, yeah. and I'm gonna push you back. Okay. So look, it's not back. Oh. It's a 180. So look, it's like this. Yeah. Okay. You see? Yeah, yeah. So it's like, and then you're gonna also bend your knees. So look, if I'm, if my head's up. Yeah. See how I'm trapped in this leg? Yeah. You can, you gotta be super tight on this leg, cause when you're here. Yeah. Look, try to not let me take you down. Okay. Ready? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. It's down and you squat at the same time. Boom. Okay. <laughs> then after the wrestling session, we played a few rounds of Smash Bros. Shout out to my boy Omar right here. He's a real one. Now we're all playing Super Smash Bros. on the big screen. Oh, is that the God, I can barely see. I didn't need any glasses. Wow, thank you. <laughs> After playing for about an hour, we wanted to go back to the new masjid to listen to some lectures and we just managed to catch up to Sheikh Kemal's lecture. Fast one day break, fast the next day for 12 years straight because we couldn't get married. The Prophet said, you can't get married fast. He gave you a solution. After each lecture, there's about a five minute break. We went to go get some watermelons and just, you know, relax with some food. Some other people were taking pictures of each other. And some other people were either going outside and looking at the fresh air and, you know, chilling with the ducks. Or these guys who were attending a small class on Arabic grammar. Right? So, this, these two sentences mean the same thing. Right here, the words are switched. This says, to hit, or he hit. This means Hussein, and this means Zayd. This means he hit, this means Zayd, this means Hussein. But because the case endings are retained on the word itself, it means you know who did the hitting and who received the hitting. 
Now we're getting dinner. Barbecue. Which is basically just hamburgers and hot dogs. Got the chicken burger and uh, hot dogs and now we're getting some sides. We've got popsicles as well. After all those solo lectures, we got an amazing dinner with some amazing popsicles. Then after dinner, we went and prayed Maghreb and Isha, and then after the prayer, uh, Sheikh Taslim then gave us a little speech. I wanted to speak, um, obviously this is for everyone, myself included, but first and foremost, I want to speak to my young brothers and sisters who are here. Uh, I've been reflecting upon this journey that a lot of you took uh, from Texas, the Texas Muslim bros, right? Uh, and part of me, really thought about how, you know, how would I have reacted if someone had come up to me while I was in college or around this age and someone said to me, hey, we're going to take a road trip, a bunch of young guys, we're going to travel, you know, down the Bible Belt, and we're going to go visit this masjid, and there's going to be this, you know, a uh, bunch of speakers there, and, and I thought to myself, how about what I have gone, right, and actually college was the time that I found Islam and I came towards Allah, and, you know, that took that whole journey. So I was thinking, so how it depends. If it was before that time, possibly I would say, no, I'm not interested. Like, I don't want to go. It was after the, after the time where, you know, I accepted Islam and started trying to practice Islam, I probably would have said yes. And then I thought about how Allah, Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose the young men to be here. I mean, you think you made the decision to come, right? You think like someone asked you and you said, I want to go. Right? Or, you know, whatever that internal de decision was, the reality is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose you to be here. And this is a, this is a, a rahmah, a mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah picked you to take a journey with your brothers to come to a place for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. After that short speech, we then went back to the lecture room. This is where all the speakers will come together and have a long discussion which will, you know, tie this whole event up with a nice bow. We can't hear you, Sheikh Yasser. I cannot hear him. We're speaking, we speaking to uh, the community. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. How are all of you doing? Alhamdulillah, we're doing great, mashallah. We wish you were here, man. You, you should have been here, bro. Oh, We wish Mashallah, mashallah. Sheikh, Sheikh, subhanAllah. I mean, you know, <laughs> what can I say? Yani, I got so much pressure, you know, from so many people to uh, try to attend. And wallahi, every few days another name was being added. And, you know, I was so happy for, you know, all of you. Uh, but at the same time, there was a sense of sadness that I'm not going to be there. My son, Ammar, mashallah, he's one of the main organizers. He kept on telling me, you know, across the country, from uh, headquarters, you know, from you, everybody's putting pressure on me, you know, to be able to come and wallah, ya'lam Allah, ya'lam Allah, I want to be in your company. Check, check, yes. What happened? Come on, guys. Guys, can we please, can we have everyone quiet, please? Can everyone be quiet, please? Please. Samir, we should have just got the Sheikh Yasser here in person, man. We should have brought him here by any means necessary. Where's Samir? We should have brought him here, man. Somehow. Then the shiuch assembled. They started talking about their personal experience with the now deceased Abdullah Sharif and the impact they ha he had on them. Then after this amazing discussion, we all took a group picture with the shiuch and that was the end of the lecture event. But the Texas Muslim Bros had a few more events planned for us before we went to sleep. After a shot prayer, Muhammad and Abdullah went up on stage and gave us the origins of Texas Muslim Bros. Assalamu alaikum. One more, I want the walls to shake. See that wall right there? I want the, I want the chandeliers to shake, but not fall, please. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalam. There we go. How's it going, boys? <laughs> As we were exiting the lecture, we then stumbled upon Sheikh Omar's poetry books. And Abdullah and Yusir bought the book and got an autograph by the Sheikh. Then we cleaned up the lecture hall and then headed out to the bonfire outside. 
And now we're going to the bonfire. And Abdullah got his Sheikh Amar poetry book signed. And there's a whole bunch of ducks here just standing here very close to the surface. I think they're just chilling. They really don't care about the light either. Or the humans walking by. Name of MSA LSE Lone Star. You know, Lone Star so, We're getting prepared to make this fire. I think they destroyed the old one because of the rain. So now we got some new fresh wood. And this is the things for the s'mores. No, I'm not. Now wait until the light show begins. Then these kids came out of nowhere and wanted to start the fire for us, which they eventually did. <laughs> no, bro, me and this guy are making our first s'mores. Hey, you see this? This is called a perfection. A pro s'more professional. And just made the perfect s'more. After burning my finger off and overheating my phone, we did it, boys. Bro, mine's not even cooked yet. <laughs> Then the Usted told us a story by the fire. Chicago, Illinois, to the Massacre Conference uh, several months ago. There's a whole bus. I was sitting in front. After a long day of, uh, Holocaust. of Holocaust and events, now we're just settling down with some Super Smash Bros. So yeah, this is going to be the end of day two. And now we're all going to sleep in this shelter. See you in the morning. What are you guys going to actually see?